Gmail is arguably one of the most popular email services in the world. It's user-friendly, quick, and secure. Unfortunately, it doesn't have backup functionality to prevent data loss due to human error or a ransomware attack. Gmail users have two options. Acquire a third-party backup tool or export Mbox from Gmail. The issue with the second option is that Gmail doesn't have the functionality to import the Mbox. Luckily, there's a roundabout way. In this video, we'll show you how to import your Mbox to Gmail using Thunderbird and its add-on. This video guide consists of three parts. Mbox export from Gmail. Thunderbird installation and add-on setup. Mbox import to Gmail using Thunderbird. Let's begin. How to export Mbox from Gmail. Open the google.com page and perform a login to your account if necessary. Click on your avatar in the right side corner of the page. In the drop-down menu, click on Manage your Google account. You will be redirected to the page where you can manage your account. You can get to this page directly. Its address is myaccount.google.com. In the left side menu, click on Data and Privacy. You will get to the Data and Privacy section. Scroll down until you see the Download or Delete box. Click on Download your data. You will get to the Google Takeout page. Once again, you can get directly to this page. Its address is takeout.google.com. Here, you can create a new export. You can see the latest export that's been done. If you haven't exported anything from Google in the past seven days, this functionality won't appear. By default, Takeout selects all the Google services and apps that you have. If you don't want to download their data, click Deselect All. Scroll down to find Mail. To speed up the process, use an on-page search. Check the box next to Mail. Now there are two buttons in this section, multiple formats, and all mail data included. If you click on the first button, you'll see the file formats of your export, Mbox for Gmail, and JSON for user setting. By clicking All Mail Data Included, you will open a pop-up window with mail continent options. It enables you to choose the types of messages you want to export. By default, it is set to include all messages in mail. If you want to download only certain types of Gmail data, uncheck the box Include All Messages in Gmail and proceed to check the boxes that you need. Then click OK. In this video, we select to export all the messages. Now that you've configured the messages, scroll down and click Next Step. It will unfold the export settings. If you need to return to the previous step, just click Select Data to Include, and it will unfold the previous configurations. For example, you decided to change the types of data that you want to include in your export. Now, back to step number two. You can configure here file type, frequency, and destination. Destination includes several options. Send the download link via email or upload the export file or files to Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. In this video, we choose the email option. Next, you can select the frequency of export. There are two options, one-time export or six scheduled exports during the following 12 months. Now, choose the file type compression, zip or TGZ. Last, you can set the compressed file size. There are several options from 1 GB to 50 GB. Keep in mind that zip files larger than 2 GB will be compressed in ZIP64 format. Once you've completed the configurations of your export, click Create Export. Google will start exporting your Gmail data immediately. Keep in mind that it might take several hours or even days. The bigger your inbox, the longer it will take Google to export it. Now you need to wait for the email from Google Takeout. You can see how it looks on the screen. Note that the email contains two important dates, the date when you created the export request and the date on which your link expires. Your export link will only be available for download for seven days after the export request. After that, it will be deleted along with the files. 
so make sure you download your MBOX within this short period of time. To do it, click Download Your Files. You will be redirected to the export page. Google might request you to enter your credentials. This is a normal step to secure your data. Once you get to the Export Manage page, the download should start automatically. If it doesn't, just click Download. Now you need to unarchive your file. Click on it to open it in your file manager. You will see a takeout folder. Select it and choose Extract All. In the pop-up window, choose the destination of your unzipped folder. Check to make sure that it has been unarchived successfully. Now, let's take a look at how to download and set up Thunderbird and the add-on. Go to thunderbird.net and click Free Download. The file will be downloaded automatically. Next, click on the file and proceed with the standard installation procedure. Once it's complete, open Thunderbird to set up mail. Enter your name, the email address from which you imported your MBOX, and the email password. Click Continue. You will get to the second step of setup. Choose IMAP Configuration and click Done. Next, a pop-up window will appear. You will have to enter your email credentials one more time. It's a standard Google procedure. You will receive a request for access to your Google account, Gmail, Contacts, and Calendar from Mozilla Thunderbird. Click Allow to finalize. The setup is completed. Next is the add-on setup. Note that Thunderbird likens a browser. It has multiple tabs. Go to the Inbox tab. In the top right corner, you will see a menu burger icon, three horizontal lines. Click on it. In the drop-down menu, click on Add-ons and Themes. Thunderbird will open the Add-ons tab. In the top, there's a search bar. Type in Import. It's the easiest way to find the add-on you need. Usually, when add-ons are sorted by relevance, Import Export Tools NG will be the first in the add-on list. Click on the green button next to it. Then confirm your choice in the pop-up window. The program will report the successful operation in the same pop-up. Now you need to return to the Inbox tab. Note that you still cannot import MBOX directly to your Gmail inbox. Once again, you can't export your MBOX directly to Gmail. So if you click on the inbox folder and choose Import via the Import Export Tools NG, it will not complete the import. Instead, it will report a mistake. However, there's a roundabout way. Right-click on the local folders in the left side panel. Choose Import Export Tools NG in the context menu. Then choose Import MBOX File. A pop-up window will appear. Choose the Import option. We prefer this one. Select a directory where searching the MBOX file to import, also in subdirectories. Click OK. In the pop-up window, go to the folder where your unarchived MBOX folder is and click Select Folder. Confirm your choice. Thunderbird will create a new folder in your local folders. Keep in mind that this folder will contain all your emails mixed together. Sent, received, trashed, etc. It won't have any directories. Usually, this folder has a very long name describing your export settings. Right-click on it to rename it if you want. Now, the final step. Click on your MBOX folder. Next, drag and drop it into your Gmail folder. Now this folder will be uploaded to your Gmail. Keep in mind that it will take some time for it to fully upload. Let's check Gmail's inbox in the cloud. As you can see, our inbox folder is in the labels. Once again, a reminder that all your emails, sent, received, trashed, and spam, will be in this folder unsorted. Thanks for watching this guide. We hope it helped you import your inbox to Gmail. For better Gmail backup options, check out our Spin1 platform.